On June 15th, 2018, my friend Kimmy and I set off on a two-day adventure to Olympic National Park. This is my story of adventure. What's up everyone? Heading out on a road trip this morning. I'm with my friend Kimmy over here. And we are heading to Olympic National Park. A few stops along the way in Port Angeles. And we'll be staying the night in Forks. It's an area of Washington that I have never been to before. And I'm just trying to do as much as I can before I move to Utah. here at the Olympic National Park Visitor Center in Port Angeles, but we just went inside, looked at some of the exhibits. Now we're going to go find a bite to eat in Port Angeles. We had a few places suggested to us, but I'll go on Google and figure it out. We'll, we'll take a look. <laughs> We're at the waterfront in Port Angeles. We had lunch at a barbecue place. Oh, and we bought like books and records and stuff. I bought chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> and chocolate. Okay, we're stopped by Lake Crescent because there's construction. We should be moving shortly. People are getting out of their cars like behind us and I was tempted because there's this beautiful lake over here. We are inside Olympic National Park. We are on our way to Soul Duck Falls, but we decided to take a stop here along the river for a pee break. Gotta go potty. But it's so worth it because this is right behind the bathrooms there. There's a pull out. And there's lots of moss on these trees. And that's pretty cool, right? I've got a, hey, can you see it? There's a little blood stain there. I walked through a spider web and the spider went down my shirt and I noticed it. I didn't think it was a spider. I thought it was like just a fly or something. And I squished it. I don't really mean to kill it. I meant to like kind of get it out, but it died. It was a spider. So I fought a spider and I won. Getting ready to go look at the falls. I know you're probably thinking, why the hell are you wearing such a big backpack? Well, I need to be able to carry my tripod and all my lenses, so... So we're gonna go look at the falls. Only wearing this bag, so I can carry all of my camera equipment. And I've got all my survival stuff for tomorrow's, what is it, 17 mile hike that yeah. we're only doing part of? Yeah. I don't feel like taking that stuff out, so we're just gonna go with it. Um, my first impression of it is the trees are beautiful. It's a little wet, but there's zero elevation gain or elevation change. It's just kind of winding between trees and stuff. 
which is a nice change of scenery from what I'm used to. So if this video seems extra choppy and like there's huge gaps, the microphone on my camera is still broken and half the time it doesn't work so there are a few clips that I have filmed today where there just is no audio so sorry those aren't going to be in the video. And also I spend so much time trying to get it to work that I kind of miss the shots I want to get. So my apologies. I need to send this camera to Canon to have them repair it. But I'm going to wait until after I move to do that because I don't know how long it will take. If you haven't been here before, I highly recommend it because it just took like 20 minutes to get here. Just do it. Just on your next time in this area, Olympic National Park. It's near Lake Crescent before you get the Forks past Port Angeles. Entrance here, right? Yeah, 30 bucks to get in. More expensive than last year, I know. It went up five bucks. Yeah, so here's another view of the falls from this side. There's the bridge we were standing on earlier, right? Took some shots. Yeah, so definitely worth it, worth checking out. We'll start heading back here now and have to head off to the hotel to check in. Then we're gonna check out Forks. So we checked into our hotel, it's nice and clean, renovated, really nice place for the price. We ate at the diner across the street, the food is pretty good, I had a Reuben. It's my go-to pretty much when I'm on vacation because it's hard to mess up a Reuben sandwich. Now we are here at First Beach in the Push and we're going to watch the sunset tonight. So you can see the waves crashing behind me and stuff. There's not a lot of people at the first beach. The second beach and third beach are very crowded. There's not even an open spot in the parking lots. We may head back there if people start leaving after sunset. So I wouldn't mind being out here for a little bit at night. We will have to go to bed early to get ready for a hike tomorrow morning. But just out here on the beach, it's a little chilly. But we're just going to watch the sunset and just kind of relax after an evening of being on the road so long. I am now standing in the water. It's not as cold as I thought. It's cold. <laughs> it's cold. I mean, it's not warm. It's cold. But I thought for sure it would be freezing. The bush, also really worth the visit. It is on the reservation over here. Probably made famous by Twilight, you know, because <laughs> they go to the bush. Not that bad. Not that bad.
on the next episode of Chase Sharaba Vlogs. We found the big waterfall. There it is. Hiked up off the trail a little ways. <laughs>